Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Yeah, hello there and welcome back. And let us continue with our lesson over here. And this is the uh, Flutter clean architecture with the Riverport uh, project over here. We will be building a Flutter application using the clean architecture with the Flutter Riverport over here and this is not a beginner course so if you are a complete beginner or if you are not uh, familiar with the flutter as well as the river part over here then this course is not for you so this is really not a beginner friendly course and if you want to learn some basic concept make sure to go and check out my other courses over here and you should be good to go with that one but for this particular course, it is required to have some Flutter development experience, maybe a six months, one year, or even more than that would be good. And also the um, the river pod or the knowledge of the river pod is required. And if you are not sure about how to use the Flutter river pod, make sure to go and check out my course on that one. I have a full course regarding the Flutter river pod as well. And um, that's just the um, thing that you have to know about this. That is the pre-request for this particular course. So let us get started and welcome to the Flutter Clean Architecture course with the Flutter River Pod. So let's meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. And in this particular lesson, let us go and set up our network service using the DO over here and for that let's go to our core folder and in this particular core folder inside of this particular data we are going to add one more new folder let's call this one as the remote over here and in this particular remote let's just go and add the new file and i'll just call this one as a do service or let's just call this one as a network not this net work and the service dot the dot file over here and this will be a this will be a web provider so let's just go and say the make use of the provider code snippet over here and i'll just call this one as a network and this will be of the service over here network service provider and let's import the flutter river part over here let's import that and then the type will be of the written type each of the do over here and now first thing that we want to do over here is the set up the option over here so final the do first of all and i'll just return this one so in case um just to remove the error for now and now i'll just go and create the uh, final and that will be of the uh, options over here or the do options over here and that will be of the base options that is we are going to provide let's just go and close this one over here and uh, let's just go and set the first of all the base url and this will be of the string and currently we don't have that particular and i'll just go and just give a dummy one over here because uh, let's just give a json placed holder for now uh, we haven't set up any of the api we will be using a custom api for this one and we will set it up in our coming up lesson so we i will basically show you how to host your own api uh, i have already built a source code and from that we will be hosting it, the api 
and uh, we'll be using our custom API over here. And now let's just make use of the base URL and I'll just set some of the like the uh, option over here. So connect connect time out over here and let's just go and set the const of the duration uh, for the let's just give us a 60 second for now and then the receipt time out this is for the connection so once it's setting say, uh, trying to connect it's it's going to wait for 60 seconds and receipt time out this is the server return the response and we want to wait it for 60 seconds as well and then the uh, receipt as well as the send so this is sending a request so let's just go and set it as the uh, 60 as well. Make sure to go and read out the documentation about the uh, DO over here. That will be your homework. And because I'm not going to explain each and every topic or every concept over here, right? That that's your that's your homework. I'll, I'm just going to show you how to utilize uh, all of this to create the clean architecture in your Flutter application, but not just uh, not uh, how to how this particular function works or how the do uh, option works over here that is your homework so you need to go and study it yourself so let's go down over here and what i need to do is now i need to pass that particular option over here right if you have ever used the uh, do then i'll just go and pass in the options over here and now this should return us the uh the do over here Right, so now we can make use of this particular network service provider anywhere in our class or in our application and call the do right so do.get post and all of this stuff but later we'll make use of the retrofit over here as well and once we have this one set up next thing that we can do over here is if you can remember uh, do dot the interceptor we have the interceptor and i'll just go and add i have option to add and add all so we'll just go and add some of the interceptor that we have one we will create a custom one and uh, the first thing that we are going to add is the http uh, formatter i guess that we have previously uh, added over here so i guess it's giving us some error so the argument as your formatter can't be assigned to the parameter that iterable over here add all and add all okay so i need to make sure this is the type is of the list over here that is what we are getting the error over here so we have that next we will create our own interceptor uh, custom interceptor to intercept the request and response because we need to add our header like we need to add the uh, the access token to the, the bearer token to the header so for that case we'll create the custom the interceptor over here let's create the new file over here oh sorry for that it should be in the remote let's create the new file let's call this one as the uh, network let's just call this one network and then the service s-e-r-v-i-c-e service and i-n-t-e-r uh, c-e-p-t-o-r right I hope this spelling is correct over here it's quite difficult to type and speak at the same time right so let's just go and make this one as the uh, final uh, class as well and final class and this will be of the uh, network service interceptor and we are going to extend it so we want to extend it from the interceptor as well so let's just go and import this interceptor from the do itself and, and now here what we will do is uh, we will provide some of the options so on the final and i require the do over here later on so let's just go and provide the do and i'll just make this one as the final uh, the private variable and also i need to access the final and then the i secure storage if you can remember so this particular class need to depend on the abstraction not on the uh, later on so let's let's first complete all of this and i will explain it to you one more time so we have all of this so this is the constructor it requires it depends now on du and then the secure storage and uh, this is the dependency now that we got over here and next is what we'll do over here is let's go down over here we need to override the two 
uh, method that would be the on request over here right and uh, let's just remove all of this for now so we will uh, set it uh, manually let's just not complete that one here let's just go and uh, on request we need to add the header on like the bearer token to that particular request so uh, every request we are going to send we want to uh, add the uh, bearer token and also something like the we want to accept the json right and all of those stuff so let's just go and say the we have first of all the options that we have options dot it will have an option for the header and this header we can pass in the content type so let's just go and say the application and the content type is of the json as well as the we want to accept the application slash the json so we want to get the response type as a json as well over here and option start the header we want to add the authorization over here and in the authorization uh, we want to pass in the bearer token and currently we have not saved that particular token but later we are going to store that particular token so for now let's try to access it from the our secure storage that we have set up and to set up that we just have to provide the secure storage dot the read and provide the token key so if you can remember token key will be of the uh, i want to read the access token so right so a access token key that we have set up the const previously over here uh, here we have set up that one so access token key that is what what we require over here and now we have the access token over here not just the token so we got the token over here and now inside of rem we can remove this one from here that is not what we need over here and now i will just pass in the access token over here and then i'll just go and return the super dot the on request and add in our option custom option that we have set up over here as well as the uh, handler over here and uh, now this should go and add our custom uh, request header to our do header over here and for now i'll just go and remove the uh, do requirement over here uh, that will be on the later stage i guess once we uh, learn how we can refresh our token currently we will just go and add the uh, option to just go and add the custom header over here but we'll also see how we can refresh the token once the access token get expired over here that will be on the later stage and now once we have uh, this particular class setup uh, what we will do over here is let's go over here and let's just go and create our provider so ref uh, provider i'll just go and call this one as a provider a network service interceptor provider so this will be of the network service interceptor provider and this is going to return us this particular concrete class because we don't have the uh, we haven't created the interface for that one and let's just go and set this one up and now i'll just go and create the instance of this one over here and now we need to provide the secure storage so i'll just go and call this one as the uh, flutter okay so i need a flutter secure storage and this will be the secure storage provider i guess we have already created that and i'll just go and provide it over here so now we have this particular provider and i can actually go and now make use of over here and i can just go and ref the uh, read right so ref dot the uh, read over here okay so we don't have okay so we have access to the ref object and now the provider will be of okay so i guess it should be of the here final and this will be of the uh, provider and i can just go and access that one over here so let's just go and import that particular provider and now i have that particular provider and i can just go and pass it as the over here okay so i also need to provide the comma over here that should be good enough so i'll just go and call this one as the network service over here uh, interceptor let's just 
copy this one and uh, provide it over here and also over here so now that should be good enough so now we have the du provider over here so i guess that's all for this particular lesson and uh, let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day